In this video, we overview the concept of the data structure and we list the data structures that you're going to need to be familiar with for the AQA exam. So first, what do we mean when we say the term data structure? Well, a data structure is nothing more than a way of organising and storing data within a computer program so that it can be accessed and modified. Now, depending how much programming you've done, you've probably used data structures already, although you may not be aware of the term. If you've been using Python, you've probably been using lists. If you've been using Visual Basic or C Sharp, you've been using arrays. This is quite an early data structure which we're introduced to in programming. And as you may well be aware, it allows you to create a numbered list where you can access the various parts of this list by using the numbers. And then in there, you can store different values. Data structures usually have common operators to them, allowing you to access the item in the data structures, add items to them, remove items from them, and often to search them, sort them, and travel through them. There are many different data structures which you can use in computer science and programming, and they have different uses, different functions, and they have different benefits, advantages, and drawbacks. And typically, this can depend on the situation and what it is you want to use. In the AQA course, you need to know about the following data structures for your exam. Stacks, queues, linear, circular and priority, graphs, both directed and undirected, trees, both normal and binary, hash tables, dictionaries and vectors. Most of the rest of the videos under this section will go through these data structures in more detail so you'll learn about them step by step. 